All right, so at the end of chapter 11, I think I might have said that up next I'd read chapter 11, but I meant chapter 12 if I did say that, but anyway, obviously. <clears throat> um, I'm just thinking that when I'm finished with all this, since I'm getting, you know, all the verses on the website and everything, I'll probably go through next week or just any time forward and go over some of the verses that I had questions on or that I you know, want to clarify better or, you know, just that I want to go into deeper and I'll just make individual videos on the individual verses at first. That's just a thought, but this is kind of a shorter chapter, chapter 12. I think there was like 25 verses in this one. It has a few different sections. So let's get started. James killed and Peter imprisoned. Acts chapter 12, verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. Getting that feedback from the speakers. But anyway... James is killed. You know, the church is really growing and growing with the, the Jews and the Gentiles, and uh, it's being more noticeable, and he wants to get Peter imprisoned, okay? I mean, he does get imprisoned. Uh, and when he apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to the four, four quaternions of soldiers. I don't know what that, how to pronounce that, but to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. So Peter imprisoned. Uh, we read earlier about the apostles. I don't know, what was it, Peter and John? or I'm not sure who it was. But there was a couple of them that were in prison, and then they got out, and they were told not to preach in the name of Jesus, but they went out and they did it anyway angel came to him and loosened him. This time Peter's in prison and the church is praying for him and this Acts 12 4 is the one time I think when the Bible mentions Easter. It's where a lot of people have an issue with the King James Bible and there's a lot of arguments back and forth but I think the King James Bible is accurate so good enough and let's go on to Peter is rescued. Acts chapter 12, verse 6, And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. He smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise, up quickly. And his chains fell from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And then, I mean, how would you explain this, too? I'm thinking, you know, with the angel coming and loosing Peter, you know, if somebody didn't believe this and they wanted to deny it, then what happened? Did the guards let him loose or something? <laughs> I don't think so. So, anyway, And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did, and he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectation of the, Jew of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked on the door of the gate, a damsel came to a hurricane named Rot Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. And they said, 
It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking. And when they had over astonished, they knew that he was imprisoned and they didn't believe that he was really free. And uh, they thought that maybe he was even dead or something. And uh, his angel. So uh, I'm thinking in a sense like his ghost or something in a sense. But he, coming unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go, shew these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Must be speaking of another James. You know, not the brother of John. I don't know. Um, now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers what was become of Peter. And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and there abode. Herod had the people, the guards killed that were supposed to keep Peter. And so, you know, you can't really believe that the guards freed him on their own accord. The death of Herod... Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre and Sidon, but they came with one accord to him, and having made Blastus the king's chamberlain their friend, desired peace, because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne, and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of God, and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God glory, and he was eaten of worms, and gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew and multiplied, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry, and took with them John, whose surname was Mark. So the people prayed, and uh, he accepted their worship, and he was killed. So this is how earlier I said when, you know, the what was it, the men tried to worship Peter, I don't know if it was Cornelius or who it was, but somebody tried to worship Peter, I think, and he told them to stand up because he's a man just like they are. He's not God, and he's not going to accept their worship like that. But Jesus did accept the worship of men. Now here, Herod, who isn't God, does accept the worship, and then he is immediately killed. Or, you know, he immediately dies. And, um, so this is a little short, interesting chapter. You know, got uh, some persecution with James killed, Peter in prison, Peter getting let out of prison again with the angels. Uh, they're just not able to keep the apostles uh, bound in prison here at the beginning of the church. So, um, you know, God wanted them free to... Uh, to continue their work, so, and uh, also, you know, these were examples of miracles also, so, all right, going to be going on to chapter 13, God bless.